Hey guys, this is Kirk from Acid Byte, and in this new tutorial, I want to show you guys how to use Acid Byte titles in Premiere Pro. So, you can see I've already got a new timeline here with some clips on it, but before we get started in Premiere, we want to go and navigate to the folder that you downloaded from our website, and you want to go into this Assets folder, and here you're going to find a PDF called Fonts Bold Titles, and inside is a link to each of the fonts that you need to download to make these titles work. So this is very important if you don't have the fonts downloaded, they'll be missing and the titles will not be operational. I've already done this step, so I'm going to jump straight to the Premiere folder. And inside the folder you can see we have horizontal and vertical title designs. So that means you can use these in 9x16 or 16x9 projects. And I'm just going to first select all of these assets. Then I'm going to go back to Premiere and go to Window and open up my Essential Graphics. Once I have Essential Graphics opened up, I'll go back to my folder and I'm just going to drag all of those titles and drop them here into Premiere. And once they're all in Premiere, you can filter them by typing in Acid Byte Bold Titles. And these are the ones that we just added. And you can see that we have the horizontal and the vertical of each title design here. And since I'm already working in a horizontal timeline, I'm going to grab this top one, which is the horizontal version of this design, and just drop it straight onto the timeline. And you'll see that it comes into the sequence uh, quite cropped. And that's normal, that's because these titles were designed for uh, 4K resolution, and I'm working in an HD timeline. But if I just do scale to frame size, then you'll see that they come into the proper size. And then if we go back into our central graphics panel, we'll be able to control just about anything about these titles. From here, you'll be able to change the text itself, the font, the colors, um, the positions, the scale and size of anything, even the opacity. Uh, if you want to get rid of these icons, you can just turn the opacity down to zero. Some of our other designs have different um, design elements like text boxes as well. You can control those from here. So for a quick example, let me just change the text here, change the font, and scale that up a little bit. You can change the color, right? So this is where you manipulate all of these elements. Um, here's the big title card, change the acid bite. Uh, these are super easy to work with guys. We think they're very cool. We're really excited to see what you're going to come up with and how you use them. And as always, thank you for downloading and I will talk to you next time.